Ciao Montefusco. In the mid-1970s, the San Francisco Giants were richer because Ciao Montefusco was their stellar pitcher. On 5-25-50, John wasn't visiting a ranch. He was born in New Jersey's Long Branch. The count became Montefusco's nickname. In Lincroft, New Jersey, John gained knowledge at Brookdale Community College. On 9-3-74 at Dodger Stadium, Montefusco came through with a win in his MLB debut. When San Francisco defeated Los Angeles, John hustled a ton in his first official at bat. He had a two-run home run. In 1975, the Giants were enriched. Montefusco led the NL with 7.941 strikeouts per nine innings pitched. John lived an, N an MLB dream. He earned the tops all-star rookie team. Montefusco's 15 wins, 10 complete games, and 215 strikeouts were held in Revere. He was the NL Rookie of the Year. In 1976, with a 2.84 ERA, John didn't let batters hit the ball very far. He was selected as an all-star. On 929-76, at Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium. Montefusco wasn't a quitter. In a Giants win, he threw a no-hitter. In 1976, John impressed. His 16 wins were a career best. With 11 complete games, Montefusco didn't have any doubts. He led the NL with six shutouts. <laughs> Giants fans enjoyed watching the count in the San Francisco Bay. On 4778 at Candlestick Park, he pitched his third consecutive opening day. From 1981 to 1986, John demonstrated his expertise with the Braves, Padres, and Yankees. <laughs> After the 1986 season, Montefusco retired. His 1,081 career strikeouts and 3.54 ERA were admired. In, in 2001, John, 2001, John used an awesome approach for the Somerset Patriots. He was their pitching coach. Montefusco didn't show any fatigue. He helped them win the Atlantic League. On 9-23-08 at at t Park, John Montefusco received much acclaim. He was inducted into the San Francisco Giants Wall of Fame. 90 career wins were the amount earned by the count. Wow. count. Right. There we go. I absolutely Ooh. love it. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much.